Iran protests trigger solidarity rallies in the U.S. and Europe. Washington, chanting crowds march in streets of Berlin, Washington, D.C., and Los Angeles on Saturday in a show of international support for demonstrators facing a violation government cracking down in Iran, sparking by the death of a 22-year-old Masha Amini in the custody of that country's morality police. On the U.S. National Mall, thousands of women and men of all ages wearing green, white, and red the colors of Iran flag, shoutings in rhythm. Be scared, be scared, we are one in this, demonstrator yelled before marching to the White House, say her name Masha. The demonstration, put together by grassroots organizer from around the United States, true Iranian from across the Washington, D.C. area, with some traveling down from Toronto to join the crowd. In Los Angeles, home to the biggest population of Iranians outside of Iran, a thousands of protester formers, a slow-moving procession along blocks of a closed downtown street. They chanted for the fall of Iran's government and waved hundreds of Iranian flags that turned the horizon into an undulating wave of red, white, and green. We want freedom, they thundered. Shuka Sham, an attorney who was born in the U.S. after her parents fled the Iranian Revolution, was wearing a t-shirt with a slogan, Woman, Life, Freedom, in English and Farsi. In Iran, women are like a second-class citizens, and they are sick of it, Sham said. Iran's nationwide anti-government protest movement first focused on the country's mandatory hijab, covering for women's following Armini's death on September 16. The demonstration there have since transformed into the greatest challenge to the Islamic Republic since 2009, Green Movement over dispute election. The Tehran on Saturday, more anti-government protests took place at several universities. Iran's security forces have dispersed gathering in that country with live ammunition and tear gas killing over 200 people, including teenage girls, according to right groups. The Biden administration said it condemned the brutality and repressions against the citizens of Iran and that it will look for ways to impose more sanctions against the Iranian government if the violence continue. Between chants, protesters in D.C. broke into song, singing traditional Persian music about life and freedom all written after the revolution in 1979, brought religious fundamentalists to power in Iran. They sang one in particular in Unitions, Bareya, meaning because of, which has become the unofficial anthems of the Iran protests. The artist of that song, Servan Hajipur, was arrested shortly after posting the song to his Instagram in late September. It occurred more than 40 million views. Because of woman, life, freedom, protesters sang and coing a popular protest chant, Azidi Freedom. The movement in Iran is rooted in the same issues as in the US and around the globe, said protester Samin Adanafad, 28, who left Iran three years ago. It forces hijabs in Iran and here in America. After 50 years, women's bodies are under control, said Arjun Minyard, who drove from East Lasting, Michigan, to join the D.C. march. She referred to rollbacks of abortion laws in the United States. It's about control over women's body. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.